In the wake of the Toys R Us bankruptcy, some wonder if the chain failed because it didn't keep up with the times. As First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, developers and local government alike are trying to find ways to keep customers coming back. As construction continues on a new Dunkin' Donuts drive through on 224 in Boardman, developers for this multi-million dollar makeover of the Tiffany Plaza say the idea is to stay ahead of the competition. You can't just throw one place here and ex expect people to come or just hope they come. You kind of have to match the trends and what you see people want and match what they want with what you put there. The new plaza design takes up less than half the space of the old one, allowing for easier access and more parking. It's more convenient and, you know, consumer friendly is what we're going for. The changes come as Toys R Us and its subsidiary Babies R Us are headed for bankruptcy liquidation and eventual closing. The township's administrator tells me developers who once built big box retail outlets like this are now moving toward so-called lifestyle centers, combining shopping, dining, and other activities. And you'll see them in popular places like Cleveland, uh, Columbus, and Cincinnati. And you have to be able to have zoning and planning flexible enough to allow developers to build places like that. While the Tiffany project is set for completion by June 1st, Lurie says plans are also in the works to develop other parcels along the 224 and Market Street corridors. Staff is also surveying residents to get their input and in the process of rewriting local zoning regulations. We're trying to get away from just the term zoning. Um, it, it's part of development, but it, it's it's not the end-all be-all. All in an effort to keep this part of the township a destination. In Boardman, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.